this is the brand new Two Oceans 555, and it really is brand new. It's the first time it's been seen, and this is boat number one. In fact, this is an owner's boat, so there are a few features on this which are very much to owner standard, and I'll explain that as we go through and the choices that you can have. But it's, it's a huge, huge boat. It's about 55 foot long, it's 25 foot wide, and that gives you a tremendous amount of space. And it's high too, the centre deck, you know, the, the height underneath here is really high, so that when you're going through the waves, they're not slapping underneath it. That works well. Another interesting feature, and there's a lot on here, I don't know whether you can see this, but the exhausts on this one, normally they're above the water. On this one, they brought them out right on the corner. You can just see it in the black below the waterline. That means that you don't get the fumes, you don't get the noise. This makes it a real quiet boat. We've got the high-low platform on this one, so that's where your tender lives. You can see the chocks for that. And we've got the, um, the boarding ladder there as well, of course. We're going to step on over here. I'm going to show you the inside first of all, but we're going to do the outside. We're going to do the flybridge, do the whole area. Some other neat touches on this. Look at the way they put what they call a bang rail around here. So it's that solid D section of rubber. So if you catch the corner, you're not going to damage the boat. And in fact, they've put a rubber rail along here as well. And it sounds silly, but that's the sort of thing you don't often find on these. And it's a good practical feature. Let's step on here. So we've got the bathing platform here, the ladder, as I mentioned, and that's the high low platform. We'll head on up this way you're getting a sense of that beam immediately as soon as you come on here it's huge now this is one of the owner standard specifications that they've gone for is to have this freestanding furniture here in fact what they've done is they've given us a picture over here this is what you would normally get to so it had the built-in seating across the back and then the table and the freestanding chairs around it but if you want this no problem you can have it side boarding gates are here Again, another owner specification feature is to have the uh, engine controls there. That's not a, a normal thing, that's just what the owner wanted to have, so they fitted it for him. This here, you can configure however you want. You can have a barbecue on there, you could have a fridge, uh, ice maker, whatever you want. That can be rigged how you like. But I'm going to take you inside first of all, because as ever with catamarans, it's the interior that is spectacular. Now this door will open all the way, you can see how that one goes back as well. So that really opens this right out. And then we'll head into here, close that up, and drink it all in. That is a big space, isn't it? These are brilliant family boats, party boats, boats to go out with friends, just because there's so much space. Now, again, there's a lot of configuration in here, which I'll explain to you. This, as you can see, is a big social space. We've got an island in the centre here. There's a TV that rises up from here, or you can take the front panel off and watch it in place, which is quite interesting. I've not seen that done before. Really big fridge-freezer combination over here. Like so, you've got the freezer down underneath. We've got cooking, of course. We've got the, um, the hob. Storage down underneath there. We've got um, dishwasher, drawers. I mean, just acres and acres of stuff. I'm curious about this one, though. Ah, ice maker. Of course it is. There we go. And look at all this worktop. This is what you get with a catamaran. <laughs> Just take us to space, isn't it? Now, this is quite interesting because there are two layouts here. You can have this completely open plan as we've got, or you can have um, a owner's cabin here. And in fact, there's a picture of that somewhere. Yes, <laughs> here we go. So that is the owner's cabin. Now, of course, that's through the boat the other way around. So this bulkhead here is this bulkhead here, and this bed here then would be facing the front, so coming out this way. But that's what you can have as an alternative, and then you have the ensuite drop down on the side, so it's inside one of the hulls. And what you have then is you can see there's a doorway up onto the bow. That's moved over to one side if you have the bed in here. Um, the other thing that's changed on here, again, owner specification, normally you'd have a bar area here. So again, your fridge, your ice maker, your sink, and that's so you can cater for this and out for there. This owner has chosen to go for more seating, which I actually think is quite good because it gives you seating all the way around. Again, very, very social. Now I'm going to take you down this side first of all, because we've got two cabins down here. If we head forward, this is all storage down on this side. So we've got big drawers, we've got more storage down in places like that. And then also the ensuite for this cabin is in here. So separate shower area and then your loo and your sink. And that door then closes this one off. If we head on forward then, this actually is a really nice cabin in here. I like the fact they've 
managed to put the bed this way. A lot of the time on this type of boat, because the holes are quite narrow, you end up with a double bed squashed against one hole. Because this is a little bit wider, they've got space to put a bed in that way, and that means you can get all the way around it, and that works really well. Storage along here, big windows everywhere on this. These are opening sections, and then we come right on up, and we've got hanging up in there. But yeah, good sized cabin that, and there's another one if we head on back down the boat. You've got to remember this is a 55 foot boat because when you get into areas like this, it feels so much bigger. Down here, this then gives you two singles, and then you can have this like this. Now, if I remember correctly, you can have a four cabin configuration where that one uh, is mirrored on the other side and then there's another cabin further back with a double and then this is the fourth cabin and this might be like a crew cabin or for kids or whatever else or I mean it's a perfectly good cabin it's saying right obviously but you configure that however you wish this is um, hanging locker in here on this particular boat what they've done is they've gone for two cabins in this side and then if we cross over the boat they've used the other side as one massive owner's cabin that's the full length so we'll come down here. This is actually laundry facilities in here. That little area, not quite finished. It's, as I say, it's boat number one. So we're not going to show you in there, but you have a washer and a dryer separate in there. And then this is the owner's cabin. So we've got seating in here. Again, a ton of storage all the way along there. And then you've got the bed up here. That's not dissimilar to the other side, of course, except for the fact that rather than this being ensuite back here, you get this area as part of the cabin. And then there is a really big heads back here so let's go all the way back and I'll show you that there we go check this out so that's actually a toilet there and that can be of course a day heads as well if you want to and then separate to that we've got this wonderful area in here we've got a dressing area we've got the twin sinks and a really big shower right back here but yeah, there is a lot of options in terms of the layout down here. So if you have a look on the website, um, that will be explain those to you. Probably a lot better than I've managed to do, but you get the drift. Three or four cabins. That you can slide off. It goes, you can see the track it goes along there and it comes across here as well, so that this can all be one completely enclosed private area. It's very nice. Let's come back up here. We'll take a walk around the outside. You can get out that way, but we'll come back and go all the way around so you can see everything. But this is a brilliant space, isn't it? I like the colour scheme as well. It's all nice and light and bright. Just a cheerful place to be. Let's come right on back. Open that one. And I think we'll loop around this way. Again, side access doors, very helpful if you're alongside a key. This is very catamaran with these big, wide decks and decent stainless steel on here as well. It's nice and high, feels nice and solid. And then we can come right up to the bow. Up here, you've got sunbathing. That's the door that we saw from that forward section. So you've got a really nice area tucked away, quite sheltered. You sort of sat really in it. Um, and then the other thing that you have up here is masses of storage. So, for example, if we open up this one here, look at the size of that. It's just huge. So a lot of spaces to get stuff tucked away. Anchor handling kit is in the centre. That's those two black fellows with all of the buttons for lifting it up and down. I like the little seats they put in the corners. These are a great place to sit and look for dolphins when you're underway. And again, you're getting a feeling of the sheer size of the boat and that 25 foot beam. They build these in South Africa, in Cape Town. Fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna show you that up there, but I'm gonna show you it from the flybridge. So we'll head on back. And we'll head on up. Engines are down under the hair. We'll show you that in just a moment. Let's head around this way. This one here is just another big deck locker. That's very helpful. And on up we go. Good morning. Good morning. I'm just doing a little bit of filming. I hope that's okay. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Thank you very much. So this is the 
flybridge. Now there's a lot you can do with this. First of all, there's a crane at the back, so you can bring a tender up here. I mean, there's just a massive space, as you can see, for, um, for putting that. Or you could use this for sunbathing, or you could put some freestanding furniture up here. Do whatever you like. There's a really big hard top on this one, very substantial. You can see all the navigation kits, so the radar, the antenna, the lights, the GPS antennas, all that kind of stuff up there. And you might see a little silver fellow right at the top. Looks like a broomstick that's crashed. Little tiny one. That's actually, I asked what that was. I've never seen one of those before. That's a lightning conductor. So there you go. <laughs> you think of everything. Bar area is here. So underneath here, we've got um, the barbecue and we have got, actually, I don't think there's anything on this one, but again, you can spec this how you want with you know ice makers or whatever else. This is just a big storage area on this one, like so. And we've got the sink here as well. Dining is up here. And a really big stid double helm seat. Very, very comfortable, very nice. And this, of course, is your upper helm. So what you've got here is you've got your Garmin screens, multifunction displays, your engine uh, controls, steering, obviously, switch gear, all that kind of thing. So this is where you operate the boat from. And then a load of seating. This is really nice because, again, as a family boat, everybody can sit together. You could sit, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people here, all sat in this zone looking forward, but you then still got all this area as well. And then if you come forward again, we've got this door opens, sunbathing up here on the bow. Let's come right up to the front. Cool, huh? Right, I think the only thing left is motors. Let's wander back and I'll give you a little look at those fellas. Okay, back down these steps. Now, there's one engine in each hull, of course, being a catamaran, so these are pretty much mirrored. There's one over there, we'll open this one. Are you out of here? Not quite, I'm just gonna open this. You can just keep, make sure nobody wanders, falls down it, that'd be brilliant. Yeah, let me open it for you. Bro. Okay, cool. Bobby, you can this is Vincent Brennan, and Vincent Brennan is the man who hey, yeah. organized this tour. And I met Vincent when I was walking through the Fort Lauderdale show, and he ran out and said, I love your channel. Absolutely. So we had to come Big and film a boat with him. Um, so Vincent is the man to speak to if you want one of these. HMY Yachts, Vincent Brennan, <laughs> he's your man. Give me a call, shoot me an email, I can answer any questions that anybody has. Awesome, let's go. Happy to have Nick on. <laughs> You're very Take kind. Look at that engine room. Thank you very much, I'll head on down. Now these are identical. The only difference is that on the other side there's a generator as well. There we go. These are these exhaust systems I was telling you about that come down and exit under the water back here. And another interesting thing is these because all of these pipings here that basically take uh, rainwater and that kind of thing off the boat, they actually exit underneath that bang rail that's on the outside so you don't see any water running down the outside of the boat or leaving marks, that's rather cool. These are Cummings diesels, hey, two of these, one in each hull, and these are 6.7 litres and 550 horsepower, and they're giving the boat about 26 knots. It's actually, for a catamaran, really fast. Cruisers are 18 to 20, and your range is about 1,500 miles. But what's nice about this is you can actually walk all the way around it. Let's go right up, shall we? There we go. That is pretty good edible, isn't it? Fantastic. I think we've just about covered it. Let's come back out of here. Okay. I'm just going to drop that one back down. Okay. These are all uh, big drain holes. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, Vincent. Yeah, no problem. Right, let's head back up on the bow, I think. And we'll finish off with a look at the Miami skyline. <laughs> so there you go. Miami skyline in the background. That is the Two Oceans 555. Huge thanks to Vincent Brennan. <laughs> you saw his details there, but I'll put them in the description as well. Huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of that one, and we'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.